David Cohn was an eager nine-year-old when he first climbed atop a pitcher's mound and threw a baseball. Even though he needed four fingers to grip the baseball and couldn't immediately throw strikes, that experience changed his life. He became a different person because he became a pitcher, a forever pitcher. Cohn has never stopped thinking like a pitcher and never stopped obsessing over pitching, which is why I wanted to collaborate on a book with him. A manic pitcher with bulging eyes and a vein-filled neck, Cohn always looked like he was plodding much more zealously than the player standing in the batter's box. I wanted to crawl inside his frenetic mind and find out what he was thinking and describe how pitchers can sometimes feel dominant and in a span of a few pitches suddenly feel desperate. That's what we did in Full Count, The Education of a Pitcher, our book that was released this week. 42 different times I pressed record and interviewed Cohn. 42 times he delivered with a trove of riveting stories. He described his relationship with catchers and how it must be like a dance, naming his favorite and not so favorite dance partners. He explained how a forgettable game with the Mets during the 1988 NLCS turned him into a tough pitcher. He dissected every out of his perfect game and at times it felt like he dissected every pitch of his career. Besides offering pitching lessons, Cohn also revealed some memorable baseball stories. He partied with Keith Hernandez and Darryl Strawberry and the Mets. He screamed at Jorge Posada. He was scolded by George Steinbrenner and later built up enough equity to tease the boss. He once punched David Wells in the face in the clubhouse during a game. Yes, during a game. This is a pitching journey, but it's also a personal journey. Cohn discusses his frailties and his foibles as much as he discusses his fastballs. As talented as David was while winning 194 games, five World Series rings, and a Cy Young Award, he had fears as a pitcher. Cohn wanted to have endless weapons, which is why he used so many pitches and so many different arm angles. He fought with his dad, his first and his best pitching coach, and he squabbled with minor league coaches because he had to do things his way. All David ever wanted was to be a major league pitcher, and he accomplished that and became one of the best pitchers of his generation. But he did more than that. He became a pitching genius, something that was reinforced to me across hours of interviews. How much is Cohn immersed in the art of pitching? He recently told me, and I quote, I love pitching. When I die, I'll be thinking about pitching. That was as blunt and honest as a quotation as I have ever heard. And that bluntness and that honesty permeates full count. The story of a nine-year-old who found pitching and never stopped loving it.